education has always proven to be a very important tool for development in any country. According to the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization UNESCO, education is a human right and a force for sustainable development and peace. It is for this reason that the UN Sustainable Development Goal No. 4 highlights education in the 2030 Agenda as a requirement to empower people with the knowledge, skills and values to live in dignity, build their lives and contribute to their societies. In Ghana, however, although stakeholders and government have taken steps to ensure the realization of quality education, there is still a lot of work to be done as the Ghanaian educational sector is facing several challenges, especially in rural areas and Kumewu Badmasi, which is located in the Setre Kumewu district of the Ashanti region, is no exception. Schools in Kumewu Badmasi are still studying in wooden structures while others study in churches and under trees. But Marse, with all the great history like the story of Nana Genti who fought with death and carried its palanquin, the story of the Bodom tree that never withers regardless of the season cannot pride itself in its only senior high school, but Marse Secondary Technical School. <laughs> Is a Emmesia Neddy and Punto Bat or maybe a remo? Ain't he a bay in fear in Numini? Me the secondary technica above the massy. Or the massy secondary technica, a friend of Boy's tech. Our course is a yara a bad aroma. A more frow home, almost young woman. Chief of Bodomasi, Berima Atachinbua, expresses concerns about the poor condition of the school. Minister of Education, Ghana Education Services, Omar Fiangumashuan, said, What is school now, but they are not yet shared by Bia. School no students are on Badida, a dormitory. Administrative block and a dining hall no money. I dear, or man one and do one him. I yes, you see, you're near the crassus and son at GMPC. A bis one would dance with their car. In the Asia dormitory, ah, students are better. Now, according to the school which received a facelift from the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation still lacks some basic facilities like a library, administration block, science lab and a toilet facility. James Apia is the headmaster. He explains how difficult learning and teaching has been after rainstorms ripped off some roofs and demolished some classrooms. Our challenges were <laughs> Uh, deepened and it became so critical when on 6th March this year 2021 uh, heavy rainstorm hit the school we have uh, temporary places that are being used as administrative uh, administration block uh, staff common room we don't have but we are still managing we are getting temporary places to serve those purposes he also stressed on the need for accommodation or dormitories for students, especially those who travel from afar to receive tuition in Bodomasi. We are also facing the challenge of uh, getting dormitory for the school. It's a day school, it's purely a day school, but I'm talking about dormitory because uh, we will be very 
happy if the school can be converted from day to boarding because a lot of people have been coming from all over the country but we can't get accommodation for them so we only uh, resort to admitting those who are from the community and the surrounding villages so we know that if we get a, a structure to serve as dormitories it will help a lot so that we can increase our admission. The school also doesn't have a hall, assembly hall, uh, or what I can say, multi-purpose hall. If you get a hall, it can serve for uh, 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 so many purposes, and it will be our meeting place. Head of the Technical and Vocational Skills Department, Edu Jemfi Nyantechi, explained how the school has been forced into having their technical skills practicals in the open after their workshop and classrooms were pulled down by the rings. At first we were using the, 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 the structure for um, our practicals and then a, a classroom was also there. We have our departmental um, office there but unfortunately it's rain and everything rip off like that so we are we are coping we are just doing our practicals in open space where we think it, it, it can help we, we have our we have small tools even though it's not enough but we are using them we, we use some of improvised ways to tackle this issue especially um, Benches and uh, cutting tools, uh, tools that normally we use for these practicals. We don't have master. Yeah, we are managing. Um, I have some and my assistant too have some. So normally we bring them together to help the, the students. The government is doing his best and we are urging him to come to our aid. We were having um, a workshop there but it's, it's not completed. So if probably he may come and if any philanthropist out there may come to help us, we will be glad. And then everything will be moving on smoothly. A block that was being used as a technical uh, workshop and some of the rooms there being used as uh, classrooms uh, were ripped off. The roof was ripped off by a heavy rainstorm and it give, gave us a big blow. Uh, we have communicated information to NADMO, the district assembly, the GES and other uh, places and we are uh, looking forward to uh, hear positive response from them. We are taking this opportunity to appeal to anybody who hears us that please this is the situation of the school and we need your assistance, please come to our aid to help us get, uh, the, 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 to put the place in order. In fact, uh, the building cannot be re-roofed because it uh, was an old building, old classroom block. I, uh, I've been told it was serving as a middle school and when the school later on was converted to uh, a senior high school, uh, it served as classrooms and uh, technical workshop for the school. The issue of quality education at the Bodmasi Presbyterian Junior High School is not different or probably worse than what was seen at the Senior High School. On my way to the school, I met one of the Assembly members in Bodmasi, Janet Achina. She accompanied the team to the Bodmasi Presby GHS, but not without taking the news team through the routes. According to her, the deep trenches are dead traps to the student and community members alike. Tam <laughs> Caterpillar, a 
if you will be seen a Yantikutam Yami. A monk can so talk cry, and can he a baby cry and keep it. Nan so, ye dear, this a dear fa, metro TV so, a moon sent you for so. Na a bar to say. Kumo board master ten rules, no, or cast away. A woman say, Ninfo Dorso. Na Krobia betum ponia, or maybe a betum ponia, a swaman a fa, nay, a na quaint two. The Saba said, A quan and cast will be ya to two in future any abundance. No, yes, sir, no, a moment de no may my or the car ufia or to me. I continued my visit to the Bodmasi Presbyterian JHS. About 50 meters to the school, I came across another death trap. This is one of the waterways of the rivers Seven Bodmasi. It looks dry and dusty because the rains have not set in. This is the Bodmasi Presbyterian Church. On a normal day, once I mention church, you would think we are here for fellowship. But it's rather unfortunate this church is simultaneously serving as a classroom for the Bodmasi Presbyterian JHS. Believe it or not, this is where students meet their teachers so they can be able to make up for their final examinations. Let's get in. The sitting place for the choristers have been converted to accommodate the final year student of the Bodmasi Presby JHS. Students expressed their dissatisfaction about their current state. Me, I don't feel well, and my colleagues are not also not feel well. Um, we need a um, macabre, lack of classroom block, lack of IT, uh, computer lab, some of the furnitures like um, classroom chairs and uh, others. I feel very sad because this class is very filthy for us. Uh, it's very bad because we don't have uh, toilet facilities and we don't even have classroom to sit inside. Sometimes when it rains, we, we have been asked to go back home because we don't have a place to sit to study. Uh, uh, every morning you have to water here before we sit inside to study and by the end of the day we we'll close there will be dust or around. In a dispensation where religion has taken over our daily activities, what happens if a church like Bodmasi Presbyterian Church is running a week-long program? let's say from even 6 a.m. to midday. Where are these students going to have their studies? I decided to speak to some teachers in the staff common room. That is if they have to find out how they are coping under such a situation. We need to stay outside until the, uh, the church comes to a close before we can take over our learning activities. So coming outside, where do you go? Oh, that one we have no option to rather stand with the kids. Sometimes we leave them to do their own private studies. Right under these trees? Under the trees. And we don't have enough trees outside there for them to stay. I sometimes support my teacher with the only laptop I have to let the kids practice some of the activities that will help them to answer some of the questions. 
So you are using your personal My laptop? My personal laptop. Um, I know in ICT, maybe you'll be teaching uh, the desktop, this is the monitor, Very this nice. is the mouse. And then the next morning you come with a laptop that has everything combined. How are the students able to understand what you taught and then what you've brought to them? At time we support it with a uh, picture okay. in some of the books that help them to identify these components. Coming up here it was uh, a challenging because we were not having uh, a classroom or a class school building. So that was where the problem started. At the down the that building belongs to the DA. Uh, it was a dual one and then the presby went there to uh, take over. When the DA saw that everything has been done, they came to claim the building back. That's why we were asked to move to our premises. Go back there, the new building that the structure that they are putting up is there. For almost four years, uh, we haven't seen any improvement. It is still there. So it's a hectic. Uh, the form one and the twos are in a structure, a wooden structure over there. And then the form threes are also up there, as you saw. Then the teachers too, we are also down here in the same church uh, building. So it's a problem. When it started raining, we have to put in some, uh, at times the, the children will put stones in the river, then they, 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 it helped them to cross. And then we did that structure, as, as you saw uh, over there. So it was helping, and now it has broke. So it's a problem. We don't have a school block. We've been here since I came. I came to meet them here. And then since then, we've been here. Nothing, no improvement. They will come, they will promise, oh, we are going to build them. But no, they won't. Um, I don't know whether you've been to our site. Every year we clear it, like almost every year. They will promise we'll be coming soon, so let the kids go and clear. We will do that and then nothing. So it's, it's, it's quite hectic for us. It's a big problem and challenging. You know, we've written letters to assemblies, um, a lot of memorandums attached. Um, also, there are some benevolent people. We also approach them, yet there's nothing anything. You just promise, oh, you will come, but I don't know. We don't know the real situation at hand. Always you just promise, there's nothing else. I've been speaking to teachers in a supposed staff common room. This is not your everyday staff common room. On Sundays, it's serving as a place where the stewards are counting their offerings. During the week or the weekdays, from Monday to Fridays, teachers use this place or improvise this same place as a staff common room. The first class was just the JHS3 class. I decided to visit the Form 1 and 2 classes to find out if their case was any different. Early on, the teachers made mention of a new classroom block under construction. After some minutes walk, we arrived at the site. At a glance, it was obvious that the new building, which is yet to be completed, has collapsed. So behind me is the new classroom block that was supposed to be built for the Bodmase Presbyterian Junior High School. It has come to a halt for reasons best known to the contractors. But then I am here with Chiri Kwame Donko. He is the headmaster for Bodmase Presbyterian Junior High School. Sir, how long has this edifice been here? I started in 2017 and gradually this is the stage we are now. So it's supposed to be how many classrooms? It's supposed to be three classrooms, uh, headmaster's office, staff common room, store and uh, computer lab. 
Who is in charge of this contract? It's the district assembly, Sechre Kumau. Led by the DC? Yes, please. So, um, what is their reason for not continuing with the building? We have been with them since uh, the structure came to a halt. But according to them, they, they, it is always promising that they will come and continue. Mostly we call the contractor and he also say the same thing, that he will come. So sometimes they bring soil, sand for maybe the continuation of the work. Sometimes they bring some small cement, but it will be there for several months and no work is going on. Let's talk about the students in the church and then those in the wooden structure. How long have they been there? They've been there since 2017. Because we were, you know, this our situation is a long story. Have you reached out to authorities? What are they saying? It is always promising. They always give us hopes that they will, they, will, they will come and complete this structure for us. So always it is, we will come, we will come. The actual reason, <laughs> maybe best known to the authorities, we as teachers, ours to, is to you know push. And we, we, we've tried our best. If it is letter, writing of letters, if it is consulting the the, the, the district chief executive or elders, assemblyman or assemblywoman. We have been trying all this. The pastor or the minister of the church, who is the local manager, we, we always move with him. SMC, PTA, we've been to the assembly several times, but uh, uh, my brother, this is still the situation. How has this whole thing generally affected students, especially with the final years? Since we moved to this, place. Most of my teachers uh, were, because they were not comfortable with the situation, they, they've asked for transfer and they left the system. So the teachers you see today are those who are committed. We, we are committed to remain until we get a lasting solution to this problem. So we, we, we are doing, it is, uh, uh, we, we improvise. Moving from one classroom to the other, because it's not closer to each other. Sometimes the children, especially Fridays, children leave for town without the knowledge or being seen by teachers. But if we are in a, in a, in a one building, then we can monitor the students very well. That is the challenge. Church activities is always a problem for the minister and the elders and the church members. Because sometimes programs should be organized uh, because we are occupying the chapel uh, most of the activities are not being taken place because we are there and mostly we are being asked to move outside for church activities to go on teachers where we use our staff common room we have to pack all the tables and chairs before uh, sunday so every Monday we have to bring back all the teachers' tables and chairs. And Fridays we have to pack them elsewhere because the church will use the place. So it is packing out, packing always. For a town whose history is very instrumental in the development of the Ashanti Kingdom, what is accounting for its lapses in education? The District Chief Executive Samuel Ade Ajakum was contacted for some reactions on efforts being put in place to help the schools upgrade. We've been able to send a report of Bodomas Technical Schools, that one was returned to the regional NABMO office and the regional minister for onward um, submission. The government is taking steps to address the challenges involved. It's, it was rather unfortunate that. Um, this um, incident happened, but with or without it, uh, we had already planned to put up uh, an infrastructure for them so that they will be able to get a place to, to learn. What happened?
happens to the Sustainable Development Goal 4 with a 2030 target of ensuring inclusive and equitable quality education and promotion of lifelong learning opportunities for all, including natives of Kumeru Bodumasi. Reporting for Metro News, Shedrak Odami Ejari, Kumeru Bodumasi, Ashanti Region.